Welcome back everybody. I'm in a friend's trailer here helping them out. They have a Rockwood 2104S and I think it's a 2022 model. Anyway, their trailer came with this uh, faucet here that they want to change out to a better quality one. She says that the water splashes when it, it runs so they want to change it up. So it comes with the this one here came with a single hole. They bought this at Lowe's and this could be put on uh, if there's three holes to cover them up or a single hole. So we won't be using this plate here. I bought two shark bite fittings and uh, cutting mats at um, dollar store. So you'll see where these all go. And uh, so these fittings here, they're half inch by three eighths. So we're gonna have a project here because it's hard to get to. So I'm gonna have to pull these electrical panels out of the way, the drawers to get in here to do this. There's uh, someone on um, a Facebook group that has done this. So uh, I forgot his name, so I wanna thank him for it. Once I uh, figure out who that was, I'll put it, his name in the description below this video to do a shout out to him. So anyway, it's really tight to get in here. Some people have their trailers where they got to go in this way in order to get to the faucet. So maybe this video will help in some way so that you can see how to get here and also how uh, what's under there, all the wires and the fittings and everything. So uh, let's get going. I'm going to go ahead and remove these panels. There's four Robert's head screws here. I'm going to remove this, pull it out of the way, and pull the drawers out of the way. That's the plan. It could change, so we'll see. I'll come back to you after I remove these. So I got the uh, drawers out. I left this in place, the sound system, and then I pulled the control panel off. And you can see in here these uh, stainless steel braided lines are the hot and cold water, red for hot, blue for cold. So there's not a lot of room in here. I'm very careful inside here, uh, not to touch anything because the power is alive in this trailer right now. And then I went over here this other side, pulled a couple drawers out, and you can see in there, see the, let me see if I can point to it right there. I gotta pull these apart, and then I have to get up underneath here let me see if I can catch this so you can see it. And then pull that nut off of there so that I can pull this faucet up. So I'm gonna go ahead right now and disconnect those two lines there. So forgive my shakiness. I thought that I had to use pliers here to loosen these up, but they're just hand tight. They're coming right off. So I just wanted to show you that. So those, uh, Hose fitting just unscrewed. Now I gotta go up here and where the, the hoses go up into the faucet up above and turn this counterclockwise. Just grab a hold of it with pliers and turn it and that'll uncrimp it from clamping down on the countertop. So I got this nut undone. I just loosened it a little bit with uh, uh, pliers and then I was able to do it by hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the faucet, pulling it up. And hopefully it won't fight me. There goes one, two, and should come out. You can't get them both through the hole at the same time, so one at a time, just like that. Now that it's out, you can see how this is put together. See, this just clamps down on the countertop itself here. And so it, it just tighten it all the way down until it's tight. So that's how those work. So we're ready to drop this in place in a few minutes here, but I wanna show you before I do that a couple things. This is what comes in the box. We won't be needing this here. Because we're gonna mount it right to the hole here with the single. Uh, drop there. 
So here's what we got. I'm going to unscrew this. The other one was a uh, plastic, remember? So this one here, I'm going to take it all the way off. I back these screws back so that when I put it back on, I'm going to make it nice and tight underneath the uh, countertop. And then I'm going to tighten these up. It has a Phillips head on it. This washer will also be under the countertop. And then this seal will be on the top of the countertop. So when I go to drop it in place, um, after I'm down in place, then I'll attach these hoses that I purchased. Um, and I'll put links to them in the description below too. Um, so they'll connect on there. If I put them on now, I won't be able to get everything through the hole. So I'm going to wait. And just so you know, you don't need to do any Teflon tape on here or pipe dope. These have a rubber seal in them. Same with the other end, which is right there, which will go to the shark bite uh, shutoff valve. This here comes in the kit. It's a weight here, and you undo the screw to spread this apart. And this will go on here. It says place it right here on this. And this is actually the hose that goes around to the, the uh, faucet that um, you can drop down to rinse things off inside the sink. So you get less splashing. So, and then this here, this is the end of that. Once I get everything down in place, we'll connect to this here. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this in place after I take these off. And then I'm going to put this all on so it tightens up underneath the cabinet. I've got the faucet on. And you can see here I have the dots in the front for hot cold. And then I'll show you over here. I got those braided hoses hooked on there. And then on this here, I have the weight attached. And then I'm going to stick it inside there and connect this up onto that up there. So I want to, I made sure the wires are all to the side. Here I'm going to take and zip tie them all back so it's nice and clean. So I cut the red uh, PEX line, the hot water. And I'm going to connect the braided line to there. I already have the shark bite fitting on there. So um, before I go ahead and put the shark bite on here, I'm going to go and put, this is the other end that I cut off. I have a deburring tool. I'll put my tubing in there and turn it around. And it has a blade in here to clean up the edge so that the shark bite can slide right on there easily. You do is you cut the tubing, you deburr it with that tool. Then while the deburring tool is on there, you, you mark it with a Sharpie. You slide the tubing onto the shark bite and it's about an inch it has to slide in. So that's why you mark the, uh, the tubing to make sure it slides on all the way. Then it's slid on there. And then this collar here, you just put it on here and then what it's done, used for is later, if you want to remove the tubing, you can put this on and push it, and it releases the uh, tubing from the shark bite fitting. So it's all together. And so I'm going to pull the faucet down. And this goes up and down. So I don't want it hitting all these wires and stuff. And that's why I got those cutting sheets from um, Dollar Store. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that in place. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. So everything's tight. There should be no leaks. There's done. So now I'll go ahead and put that cutting sheet in there. So here's the cutting sheet from the dollar store. Uh, you get two of them for $1.25. So what I did is I took one of them and I drilled a couple holes here. And I have a zip tie in there. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to strap them to the, the hose. Um, so I think the best way to do it is put it in place and then you'll be able to see what I did. So here it is with that sheet in place. Now this just slides up and down. I'll go up closer to show you what it looks like, how I attached it.
So all I did on the bottom part was attach it with a zip tie to my tubing. And then I'll show you up above. And I did the same uh, above here and I zip tied it above that nut so that sheet won't slide down so it stays in place. So you can see on the other side here where the nuts are here. So I zip tied above that. So now the wires are protected from hitting any of this and that weight is going to just slide up and down this no problem without hanging up on any wires or anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and button this all up. Here it is all done. I got this all buttoned up on this side, but I left the drawers out over here so they can keep an eye out um, for a day or two to make sure there's nothing leaking. We've got the system pressurized right now, and um, so they'll be able to see down in here, the hoses and everything, make sure there's no leaks. And then this thing, it works pretty good. Let me open this up a little bit. So turn on like that, and then there's two buttons here. You can do it on that or this one. You can pull it down, go around just like that. And then that locks up in place. So all, all in all, it works pretty good. So I hope this helps somebody in some way. And um, I hope you, if you like this video, want to see more, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of future videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And um, if you want to have any comments or any questions you want to leave with me, feel free to. I respond to everybody's um, comments and questions as soon as I can. So sometimes it might be a week if I'm out camping or something. So thanks a lot, everybody. Take care and happy camping.